I've just arrived in Edinburgh and yes I probably do look a bit ragged. I'm in a very noisy street. I've just got off the uh, plane from Copenhagen and yesterday I was in Helsinki having just gone there from Ten Hola where I was emceeing uh, the Ten Hola Swing Dance Camp. And uh, now I'm here to be in a show for two weeks. Uh, only I don't actually know where I'm going to live or, or the contact number of the producer of the show or the name of the show. I don't really know a huge amount, but... Um, it was called Swing Circus, as it turned out. Right, morning of day one. I've just been woken up uh, by some seagulls. And uh, this is the inside of my caravan, which I think you'll agree is quite beige. Now here we have Gotcha, and uh, she's in this caravan, I got that one because I beat her at swing ball, so I got first <laughs> choice. I couldn't find my jacket that's got a lot of my stuff in, and then I noticed it. And uh, we can, whilst uh, looking for it, admire the view from my caravan. It had my passport, my wallet, and so much more in it. Whoops. Here we have the garden, and uh, it's complete with swimming pool. So here we are in the big sexy circus city. I've got my crew lanyard which allows me to go everywhere. And here's our big top, well I say big, it's a moderate sized top. Um, and uh, there's the considerably larger top over there. Uh, that's, the, that's the wings show, uh, they're, they're bigger than us. And, uh, and you can see there's plenty of port -loos and, and so forth. And uh, it's not exactly the lap of luxury. Um, this is a massive building site, so they're going to build a load of flats here, I think. Uh, we're quite close to the centre of town, so they're going to, some developer, I presume, is making an enormous amount of money in the near future. Yeah. This was where we put it together, our moderate big top, with its grandstand seating and leaking roof. Right, now here I am, back in my caravan, after uh, this morning's rehearsals for the show, which is on tonight. And uh, we had a rehearsal yesterday evening, so I've had, roughly speaking, a day to learn all the choreography for a half-hour show. Uh, here are some of my notes, all six pages of them, and I'm going to be looking at them for some while uh, yet. Um, they've accepted that things are likely to be a bit ragged on the first night, uh, but uh, that as long as we keep up the energy and lots of clapping and smiling and going huzzah, uh, then we should uh, carry the audience along and everything should be all right. Um, I've never had to learn quite this amount of choreography in quite a little of time, and uh, the pressure is on because I'm actually being paid for this job. It's like sort of you know proper proper professional work, and so I'm. You know, there's some, I think, you know, uh, onus upon me to be at least reasonably competent. Do you think we can just sort of fake it? Yeah. Right, the morning after the first night. Um, and uh, it went, it went okay, actually. The audience seemed happy. They clapped a lot and laughed and did all the things that you want audiences to do. Uh, I, on the other hand, uh, and my partner made several mistakes, missed a big aerial at one point, and uh, our solos are a bit lacklustre. So uh, we're going to be working, working on our steps again this morning. Uh, and probably well into the afternoon, um, but it's a two-week run and all going well. By the end of the two-week run, we'll have nailed this. Now the question of the day, uh, I think, is Shmoo? <laughs> Apparently I got it right. Hitch was our sister show. You could see both of us on one ticket. They mixed circus with Hitchcock films. The site also offered kids circus workshops and there was a high wire act every day. He really is terribly high. Oh, shamelessly milking it there. We've just done our first matinee. What? Are we doing We've it? just done my first matinee. And um, mine. Mine as well. Mine. Oh, yes. And there's been quite a change of cast. We had five new members out of eight at the beginning of this week, and they've been changing since then. And we're losing Cal. We're losing. Uh, say something that involves the word now. Uh, I'm leaving, like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. The word mouth is quite good as well. This guy turned up in the audience one night, and he was almost as beige as me. We're not always quite this naked, um, and uh, we are a little bit hot and sweaty because we've just finished dancing a half-hour show. But, um, Steve, how's it going? Oh, I've turned it around. I can't see myself now. I'm very well, thank you, Lloyd. And all the viewers. <laughs> no, you see, no, you see what happens if people see themselves, they end up looking at themselves, yeah. and they look like this, instead of this, you see? That's awful. <laughs> okay? So, they're, these are the people, these are the ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So, how's the show's going? Are we doing it's very good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Why don't you ask audience? He's members. known for his articulacy. Right, well, I've made it to the end of the first week, and uh, now we're rehearsing for the second week. In fact, we've had rehearsals almost every single day, because the cast keeps changing. Uh, when I joined the show, it was about halfway through the run, and uh, five out of the eight cast members were new to the show. And now we're adding in another four new people. We've got uh, a couple of uh, 
Acrobats here, we've got, oh, no, there's one, there's one, you've got a, a hula hooperist, is that the right Hello. term? Is that a hula hooperist? Hula hooper. A hula hooper, we have a hula hooper, we have a, we have a, a juggler there who's limbering, and we have uh, two new dancers there who are trying to learn all the steps. It's time to go. Um, I have to confess, I'm actually quite glad to be going. I'm rather tired and looking forward to my own shower and bed. Uh, this was going to be a one week trip uh, to Helsinki and then it turned into a two week trip with the Visby Festival and then it was a four week trip with two weeks in Harang and then there was another week in hell, uh, in, uh, in, hell <laughs> in uh, Finland after that. And uh, then I was cast in this show for another two weeks. So it ended up as a seven week trip and uh, I've been living out a rucksack and uh, now they've turned the water off to the site and uh, I don't know how much longer we're going to have electricity here for so uh, I think the convenience of home is now uh, beckoning. Yeah.